Dear Manoj Muntashir Shukla, with great power comes great responsibility. However, it appears that your connection with this axiom is woefully tenuous, especially in the light of the brohaha surrounding the representation of the beloved epic Ramayana in the film Adipursh. Listen attentively, Manoj Muntashir, for this is not a mere concern but a collective anguish resonating from the hearts of numerous cinema goers and devout followers of Sanatan Dharma. Within their souls, Bhagwan Ram stands as the epitome of righteousness and his tale serves as an endless wellspring of inspiration and beauty. Their discontent arises from a profound sense of disappointment as glaring mistakes have marred this ambitious endeavor. As a wordsmith who was born Manoj Shukla then adopted pseudonym Manoj Muntashir only to revert back to Manoj Muntashir Shukla, your frequent shifts in identity have not escaped notice. Yet, a crucial question lingers. What gives you the audacity and authority to represent Sanatan culture? More specifically, what compelled you to make the daring and arguably reckless decision to present it in such a derogatory manner in Adipurush? Within the realm of cliched and idiotic dialogues penned by your hand, the character embodying Pavan Putra utters lines like Jali bhi tere baap ki in a misguided attempt to make the script relatable. We are compelled to question how do such inane lines resonate with a culture as profound and as rich as ours. Furthermore, does this indicate a disregard for the audience or dear Manoj Mutashi Shukla, was there a more nefarious intent behind such portrayals? And behold, your arrogance shines through as you, like an idiot, proudly proclaim that your film is not an interpretation but merely inspired by Ramayan. Yet, one cannot help but wonder, does such a meticulous thought process as you claim truly justify the use of such jarring dialogues? Are we to believe that Sri Ram and Pavan Putra Hanuman actually spoke in such discordant lingo? The modern and contemporary styles you allegedly sought to incorporate clearly failed to strike a chord with the very youth who possess a more nuanced understanding of our heritage than you seem to acknowledge. Your attempt to draw parallels between the criticism faced by Adi Purush and the opposition encountered by poet Tulsi Das for writing Ram Charitamanas in the Avdi language instead of Sanskrit is, to say the least, audacious. One can't help but surmise that even Tulsi Das himself would protest such a distorted representation of the epic. A man who penned verses like Vidya Van Guni Yati Chatur for Pavanaputra Hanuman would surely not be impressed by this unforgivable portrayal and we have yet to address the underwhelming depiction of Prabhu Sri Ram. Even Ravan, the embodiment of darkness and malevolence, would unleash the wrath of his Chandrahas upon beholding the abysmal depiction of his character in such a pitiful, amateurish manner. It becomes apparent that when faced with a lack of solid argument to defend the script, you bemoan the lack of accolades for glorifying Sri Ram and extolling Ma Sita's chastity. Yet if this is what you consider glorification, one can only wonder what depths of insult lie beneath. Unfortunately, no amount of glorification can cleanse the ill-conceived representation of such revered narrative. The consternation over the sharp criticism received from your followers is perplexing. Even the creators of films like Thugs of Hindustan or Shikara did not stoop to such defensive posturing. And yet, you stand tall, labeling the critics as Sanatan Drohis. You have claimed that Adi Purush was created for Sanatan Seva and that the audience will continue to embrace it. But who bestowed upon you the authority to decide the dialogues of our deities? Manoj Muntashir Shukla, these questions and concerns do not emanate from a solitary individual but an entire nation that venerates Ramayan. Your answers hold the potential to not only satisfy our curiosity but also to heal the wounds that Adi Purush has inflicted upon the collective psyche of Bharat. But I doubt that your intent is even focused that way. Saddened by a portrayal, Bharat.